Hey YouTube, it's Vincent LaFiera coming at you from www.mytorontorealty.com and of course Remax West. Just wanted to shoot a short little video and talk to you guys about the differences between buying a pre-construction condo versus a resale condo. And there are huge differences. First and foremost, with a pre-construction condo, you have 10 days, it's called a cooling period, once the agreement of purchase and sale is signed. That's a builder's agreement of purchase and sale, I might add. <clears throat> to basically walk away and terminate the agreement. Uh, other differences, there are two closing dates. The first one being the occupancy closing and the second being the transfer of title. Now during the occupancy period, you are required as the buyer, once you occupy the unit, to pay occupant fees. And your mortgage isn't discharged because you haven't taken ownership legally over the unit. So it's a big cash grab from the buyer's, from sorry, from the builder's perspective. You're basically paying a big maintenance fee and rent. And you're not entitled to any, any home ownership whatsoever. Meaning, if you wanted to rent the unit, let's say, for example, um, things have changed by the time the unit has been ready and you've decided to move on, you no longer want to live there. You want to rent the unit out you are no longer allowed to rent the unit out without the written explicit consent of the builder. And the builder, in order to give you that consent, is going to want some lump sum of money in return. So be prepared for that. There are many other differences. With a resale condo, you basically know what you're getting. For example, you know what the finishings are going to be like. There are a lot of buyers out there when they buy pre-construction, they see something on paper and then when they go and pre-inspect just before the occupancy closing, it's completely different. The colors may be different even though they've chosen, for example, their floors or their, their color on their walls. I've seen it happen many times. But the biggest difference is, of course, is that the fact that the board has been put in place and certain monies have to be allocated towards the trust fund. 10% of your maintenance fee has to be allocated there. So when you're buying a resale, your lawyer and realtor can do their due diligence and just find out just how much monies are in that trust fund. There are many more benefits. But this topic can go on and on and on. Check back soon as I will be doing another video more in depth as far as the benefits of buying a resale. But it, in my opinion, I'll leave you with this little note. Never, ever buy a pre-construction condo. Thanks. Hope you found this intuitive. Have a great day.